Are you ready to make your marketing materials interactive? Gone are the days of boring PDFs. Whether you use brochures, catalogs, or magazines to promote your business, making your marketing materials more interactive will keep your audience engaged. Today, we'll look at FlipSnack and how it can transform your documents. Let me show you the benefits FlipSnack offers and why it's the number one flipbook maker on the market. Before we get started, my name is Michelle and I've been in the marketing game for close to 20 years now and I love to share what I've learned and the tools that I use with other entrepreneurs. So if this info resonates with you or if it feels helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. All right, let's take a closer look at Flipsnack. Here's a look at the publication that I created that we're going to review in, in Flipsnack today. So this is something I designed in Canva, but I do want to call out that Flipsnack does have the ability to create documents and marketing materials right inside their platform. So if you don't want to create it in a different platform or software program, you can actually create right inside of Flipsnack. Something to definitely keep in mind. I would say if you're creating larger marketing materials, it might actually be a good idea to create those in other programs. So let's get started started. So as I open this publication, you can see that I have a background color that is totally customizable. So you can choose whatever color you want to fit your brand. And I will open the first page. And this is actually a really cool opportunity. So with most magazines, you have a lot of advertisement space. And so if you are selling advertisements, know that you have the ability to add video and really embellish these documents so that you can add a commercial of a product right inside. You can listen to it as well. You'll also be able to link and go directly to the website. So if that is a product that you want to feature, you can send them directly to that product. I'll turn the volume down for now, but a really cool opportunity to add life right away to your digital publication. Going on to the next page, I think this is such a cool feature. You have the ability to capture people's information. If you want to get their email address and their name, you don't have to have their name. You can just have it as an email address if you want to. And I'll show you a little bit later how all of those settings are set up. You have the ability to customize this title and you have the ability to skip. So if you don't want to make it mandatory that you're capturing people's information, you can have them skip it. But this is such a great opportunity to build your email list so that if somebody really wants to read your publication, you can get their information and actually be able to market to them moving forward. It's a great lead generation tactic and highly recommend. Right now we're gonna skip so that I can show you some of these other really cool features. Right here, we've got a slideshow that you can have directly embedded into your publication. So just showcasing a few different photos, and then we have the ability obviously to link. So if you have a table of contents or a document that's a little bit larger that requires a table of contents, you can link them directly to the page. So if I click on this one, it will go directly to this article. I'll backtrack just a little bit so that we can showcase those other features. Anytime you have an email address or a link that is within your text, you can link that there. They're gonna show up with these blue highlights. And so if you click those, then you will be able to take them directly to the location that you want to send them to. Moving on, another really cool feature is the spotlight feature. So if you have a photo that you want the ability for viewers to kind of zoom in on and see at large, you can click to view the image and the spotlight will show the image at full screen. And I've linked each of these photos as well. This is a look at that article that I jumped to earlier and just calling out a few things. You can see these kind of pulsating in the background. If you have social media links, like if you're doing an article like this and the feature of the publication had social media links that you wanted to send to, you could embed those directly in there. You could also feature a video on there as well so that if you want to add a little bit more depth to your article, you can showcase it right there. I'll show you how easy this all is to just simply add in the editing portion of this publication so that when you are designing, you can just pop in your PDF and then embellish from there. This is another feature that they have where it is a photo slideshow, but it's a pop-up slideshow. So if you didn't want it embedded, like that one that I showed previously, you could click this and then we can see that this slideshow has several different photos that it's featuring 
and then you can exit out of that. Just taking you through the rest of the publication. And then you will also have features that you can zoom in on things if you want to. You can see all of the pages within the document if needed. This would be a great way to jump to something. So if you would viewed it and you're like, oh, I wanna go back to the table of contents, really easy to just go back by doing that navigation. If you want to download the publication so that you can view it later, you can do that there. You can search for things in the document. Of course, you can share it and make full screen. So how do you create and embellish on this document? Let me show you how to do that. It all starts with uploading a PDF. It's very simple. You can go through this process. You can upload your file here, or you can actually create from scratch. If you do have it on a Google Drive, you can also import from there. I'm not gonna show you how to create from scratch, but I will show you all of the elements that would make creating a flipbook pretty easy in Flipsnack. So let me back up. Since I already have this one loaded, I will just hit the edit here and we can go through some of these things. So the templates are a really great option for you if you are looking for a starting place in the design. Do know that when you upload your PDF, it doesn't mean that you can't add pages. So if you wanted to start with the bulk of your document and then add some additional things later, you can do that. All you have to do is go to pages. You can add a new page by simply clicking this button. And then let's say that one of these Let's say last minute you have some additional advertisers that you want to showcase. We could select this one just for an example. And then it actually has several options and pages. You can use all of the pages if you wanted to, or if you just wanted to use one of them, let's pretend like this is an advertisement, just so that you can see that you have the ability to customize even after you've already uploaded it. So that's what the templates are there for. For interactions, anytime that you have something that you wanna link or tag, add a caption, a pop-up frame, if you need to add additional images or slideshows or pop-up slideshows, this is how you do this. So, so I'm gonna delete that page because we don't need to keep it necessarily. For the video, all I did was use this video embed and then it would pop that frame in there. You can add your YouTube, your Vimeo, or if you have your video hosted somewhere else, you can add that right there. You can change your tooltip to say something like watch now. If you needed to add text, it does have some preloaded templates in there as well. You can add headings, subheadings, body text, and then once you add those items, you can change color, if you need to, you can change the fonts. They do have a pretty great selection of fonts, but if you do have your own branding that your publication deals with, I suggest if it's easier to design in a different program, you could do that, but do know that you can upload your own custom font as well. And then of course you can style the paragraph however you need to, everything works pretty easy. And then also you have your layers palette over here. So if you need to organize things or even with this video widget that we don't really need because it was an extra add-in, we can delete that over here. You'll have the ability to upload any images that you need to. You also have elements. You have the, you have access to stock photos and stock videos. You can draw shapes. You can have animated GIFs, stickers. If you are doing more of like an annual report, bar charts, pie charts, line charts, those may be of more interest to you. So that's a really quick view of the design elements that you can use to create your publications right inside of Flipsnack. Now, there are some other customization options that you have. So let's go to the customize palette over here. You're gonna see a few different options and I'll try to go through these pretty quickly. But for the appearance, you've got a classic or a modern option that you can select from. You can have the pages flip like a normal flip book or you can have them slide. And I'll show you what this, we'll skip that. And let's show you if you'd rather have them slide, you can do that. They've got a few more options for automatic transition and auto detecting links. So you can read through those and if it makes sense for your publication, you can definitely do that. For branding, you can change the colors of any of the background if you want. So if green is more of the vibe on this one, we can change it to green. You can also add your own hexadecimal color. So know that it's you're not limited to just this palette that they're showing here. Menu controls, you can 
have the ability to control what options that I was showing in that earlier bar down there. So if you don't want people to download your PDF, you can uncheck that box. If you don't want people to search, you can also uncheck that box. You have all of these options available to you. For table of contents, you can actually activate this and we can add these chapters and insert the page numbers that they start at. Here's that lead form that I was talking about earlier. This is where you can adjust that title text if you need to, as well as the submit button. You can choose how many pages you want people to read before they get that pop-up. And if you don't want the full name, if that's not important to you, you can remove that field and just keep it with the email address. You also have the ability to collect other data if you want to. So if phone number is uh, more important, I know a lot of like SMS texting campaigns are really popular these days. So if capturing a phone number is important, you can do that as well. They've got some Privacy policy options for you. You have the ability to allow people to skip it if you want. So if it's more of a premium publication and you really do need to capture that information, then you might decide to uncheck that box. Google Analytics, you can insert your analytics code right here so that you can get more in-depth tracking. Do know that they do have statistics and I'll show you that here in just a moment. If you want to have a little bit more in-depth uh, analytics, maybe that's location of where people are reading your publication and not just the base number of how many views and how many pages are being looked at. You can add that to get that information there. You can also set up Google Tag Manager by adding your ID and then accessibility, which is a really great feature. Of course, we want all of our documents to be accessible to everyone. So if you want to activate accessibility, you'll want to hit that edit text button. And then on each page, you'll want to add a title and description so that it helps users who may have disabilities and visual difficulties. You would save that when you are done. And then if you make a lot of flipbooks and you wanna keep all of these settings and these are the settings that you want to roll with a majority of the time, you can hit preserve settings down here and it will remember these for your future flipbooks. Once you're done with the customized portion, if there was any need to go back to the editor, here's that editor button. You can go back and add more links and videos and buttons if you need to. But if you're ready to roll with this and you wanna start sharing it, you can hit share now. Give your publication a title and you can add a short description and I'll hit update in this instance. And so we can see the details of when this was published and when the last update of it was. We've got our URL. You have the ability to create additional trackable links. So if you have, let's say several salespeople uh, for a particular publication and you wanted to track how many people are viewing based on that particular link, you can track them and you can give it a name. So if it's like, okay, Michelle's sending this one out, let's give that a name. And then you can also initiate link notifications if that's something that's important to you. We can create that link. And so now Michelle has her own special link. So if she's going to send out this document, then we can keep track of the statistics for her specifically. Speaking of statistics, here is a quick look of impressions, views, the average time spent on the page, and downloads for the publication. You've got some statistics here based on day and session time. And then if we keep scrolling down the lead form statistics, so when somebody does insert their information to capture the, the name and the email address, this is where you will find that information. Good to know too, that if you want to send this data to another location, whether that's like maybe a Google spreadsheet or that could be directly into your email marketing platform, you can use Zapier to create that automation for you so that it's pretty seamless and you, you don't have to do that manual movement for your data. A few more options. You also have the ability to download a GIF. I kind of like this. This is a cool idea. A lot of times when I am working with clients and we are showcasing new magazines, we will send out an email. We use an animated GIF, but I'm usually creating those manually. So it's kind of nice to be able to have the option to highlight what pages in the document you want to show. You can customize color of course, and utilize it, whether that be on social media or within an e-blast, 
you can do all those things as well as create a QR code for it and you can promote your document that way. Let me know what you think of FlipSnack and its ability to really enhance your digital publications. If you have any questions, I am happy to answer whatever I can. You can leave those in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.